This video will help you understand how to complete the current event critical reading worksheet for the What Do You Think argument unit. Here on the My Big Campus bundle, you will see the block for the critical reading worksheets. You'll see a blank version of the worksheet and a model example of the worksheet. You'll also see a link to Newzilla, the news service that you should use for the worksheet. When you open the blank worksheet, and of course you don't need to use this because you will have one sent to you in your Google Drive, you'll see some instructions. First, when you complete the worksheet, you must find an article in Newzilla. Newzilla is a simple service to use because you can sign in with your Google account. So, when you click on the link for Newzilla, you'll see a picture like this. Click that red button that says sign in with Google and use your school Google account. Once you're there, you can log into the English A class with this code, WTPXP. Log into that class and you can find your own articles or receive assignments from me. When you read an article, you must read it according to a reading level that has been given to you by me. So if you don't have your reading level, be sure to email or send a My Big Campus message. You can also ask in class at any time. New Zealand articles, as we'll see in a moment, have different reading level selections. So you can read one article at a variety of different reading levels. Click on the reading level according to what you've been given by me and read the article. If you would like to hear the article, I've included a link to Speak It. That's an extension for Chrome. So if you load Speak It into Chrome, you can hear somebody read the article to you. That could be helpful if you're having challenges with reading. This is the blank worksheet. A number of questions for you to answer. Some very simple, some a bit more complex. Let's take a look at the model example to understand how. The model example is loaded into the My Big Campus bundle right here. So we'll open it. I have completed the model example based on a New Zealand article called Afghan Women Worry Their New Freedoms May Disappear. Let's take a look at that article. This is a New Zealand article. Remember those reading levels I talked about? They're located right over here. I have chosen 1160, which equates to roughly grade level 8. If you are reading at a higher level, you can click a higher level. If you're reading at a lower level, you can click a lower level. Clicking on that level changes the article slightly. The content is the same. However, the complexity of sentence structure and vocabulary shifts. It becomes more complex or less complex depending upon where you've gone. Let's go back to 1160. I would read this article, and it's a fair amount of reading, but not too long. Remember that you have your choice of article in most situations. If you wish to browse for an article, go to the main page of New Zealand and search. The first section of questions on the critical reading worksheet include basic information about the article. The title, the source, the date of the article, a link to it, and the reading level that you've used. The reading level should be simple for you to understand. The link should be a link made of the word link as opposed to pasting in the URL. Date and source should be listed on the article date is listed right here and the source is listed right here. New Zealand articles come from regular publications throughout the United States but they have been adapted for English classes. I want you to list the original source of the article. This one came originally from the Los Angeles Times. Be sure to type the title of the article in quotation marks exactly as it appears on the page. That's the information section of the article for the critical reading worksheet. Fairly simple to complete. Then you move on to basic questions. The basic questions are who, what, when, and where. Those should be fairly simple to answer. In this case, Afghanistan is the place. The when is current day ongoing because my article did not specify one day. Sometimes the article is discussing an event that happened at one day or one time. If that's the case, then enter that information in the when. If the article is discussing a trend that is currently happening, just type current day dash ongoing. My who 
is determined by reading the article. And in my article, the WHO is Afghan women and other Afghan citizens. I consider every person or organization that figures into the discussion of the article. For my article, it happens to be primarily Afghan women, but other Af Afghan citizens as well. The what is the central event. Often that central event comes from the article title. But, as I read, I find that the Afghan government may remove many of the rights won by women after the overthrow of the Taliban. I summarize that central event, the focus of the article, right here. After answering those four basic questions, I write a one-sentence summary. The one-sentence summary is easily written by compiling the answers to these questions. So, my sentence reads, in Afghanistan, Afghanistan's my where, Afghan women, that's my central who, may lose rights they won after the overthrow of the Taliban if the current government removes them. That's basically a rewording of my what. Notice that I have not included the when because that is implied as now, current day ongoing. If I actually had a specific when, I would include it in this one sentence summary as well. This section, basic questions in one sentence summary, discuss what the article is about. Moving on, I can discuss the evidence provided in this article. I won't discuss that in this video right now because it requires a little bit more specific discussion. Go to video 2 to hear about evidence. After evidence, I find another article that discusses the same specific issue. I have done searches for Afghan women, rights, and by using a simple Google News search, I found an article. That article comes from ABC News, and it's about Afghan women rallying against domestic violence, which still relates to them discussing their human rights. I link it as a related article. I have also found three challenging vocabulary words throughout the New Zealand article that I've read. Not the new one, but the one that I've read. Those words are prominent, fundamentalist, and undisputed. Each of those words is not defined. Rather, a link is created, so you can find the definition through dictionary.com. Easily enough, I can click on any one of those words and find the definition. Find three challenging vocabulary words. If you find more, you may include them, but find at least three. The final section includes your opinion about the events in this article. When you write an opinion, the opinion should come from your own ideas, and that opinion will lead into argument discussion. So make sure that you are rendering an opinion that is suitable for an argument. How do you do that? Include the word should. If your opinion statement includes the word should, you are leading into an argument. My opinion statement is that the United States should make sure the Afghan government gives Afghan women equal rights. My statement includes a very clear agent. The agent is the person or organization that is doing the thing that I believe they should do. And I'm believing that they should make sure the Afghan government gives Afghan women equal rights. I believe the United States should interfere in this particular event to make sure that human rights are ensured. I have ended with my own opinion about the article, and I am finished. Once I've finished the entire critical reading exercise, I'm done because it's already submitted. I'll move on to the next one. Wait for feedback and make sure that you are fine-tuning your next critical reading worksheet based on the feedback from the previous one. Continue doing that and you will sharpen your critical reading skills for any current events article.